These kids think they're trying out for a new pop culture quiz show. I don't think we're supposed to be talking. These kids want a spot on a new ultimate challenge show. 18, 19. They have no idea we're the ones testing them. Why don't we just put 20? To see if they'll cheat. Does anybody know who Bella Thorne is? She's while our cameras and their parents watch. Oh my gosh. Okay, change Would your child give in to temptation? So Sasha changed his answer. I don't like Sasha. that. We'll tell you what you might be doing wrong. I'm a little disappointed, actually. And show you how to do it right. I want you to be a strong person and really stand up for yourself. Please, put away your phone. He's doing what I taught him to do. Put away your phone. Natalie Morales with My Kid Would Never Do That. Welcome to Dateline, everyone. I'm Lester Holt. We all want our kids to shine in school and on the playing field, and so do they. But how do we make sure they do well on their own and not by cheating? Natalie Morales joins us now with some important information that could help as we continue our hidden camera look at the secret life of your children. Natalie. Well, Lester, everyone knows the key to success is hard work. Unfortunately, as some kids discover, cheating is easier. But there are things that you can do to raise a kid who doesn't cheat. Now, you may think your kids would never take the easy way out, but watch and learn. Well, I see it every day, every class. You just turn to the left and you look at the other kid's paper. Everyone cheats at one time or another. It's an open secret in just about every American school. I'm up all night studying and then they're cheating. It makes me feel like my hard work is for nothing. Experts call it an epidemic. Students say it's an art. They try to be a better cheater than to be a better student. I've seen girls write in the slits of their skirts. They'll put little pieces of paper for answers in their boots. Right on the inside of water bottles. The most clever form of cheating I've ever seen is kids using American Sign Language. If the teacher is oblivious, you can simply just look at a friend and be like, what's number three? The techniques may change, but cheating has been around as long as teachers have been giving tests. When you're really given a conflict, what are you going to do? You know, some of you are in high school. And Rosalind Weissman is an expert in teen dynamics and the author of Owning Up, a school-based curriculum that teaches ethics. While some may think cheating is a victimless crime, she tells kids what's really at stake. If you cheat, at a certain point, your knowledge or lack of knowledge or lack of ability is going to come forward. And not only will you be punished, but that people will think that you are a fraud. Did you cheat on the SATs? That's what happened last fall in a New York suburb where teens from some top rated high schools were arrested for cheating on the SAT. They're charged with getting paid to take the test for other students. All have pleaded not guilty, and the case has forced the SAT to tighten test security. The bottom line is, however you look at it, it's very prevalent. Eric Anderman is a professor of educational psychology at Ohio State University. He's analyzed 50 years of data on cheating trends and says that by the time students graduate from high school today, 80 to 85 percent of them have cheated at least once. Not everyone, but most are doing something that most of us would consider an act of cheating. Do you think parents are aware of how extensive cheating is? No. I really don't. I think most of us think that our sons or daughters wouldn't do that. So while we would all like to think my kid would never cheat, you're about to meet some brave parents who are actually willing to find out. All of them say they talk about honesty at home. But is the message getting through? Tonight we'll watch to see if their kids can resist the bad behavior that's all around. With our hidden cameras rolling, we'll put cheating to the test. When confronted with the chance to fudge a score, how we just put 29? Or cheat on a quiz. Number six. I think it's C. Do you think it's C? What will these good kids do? You've cheated so much. Oh, well. Wow. And will anyone tell the truth about it later? So everything is, is totally, that's, those are your honest times and honest scores. We start in a middle school gym to find out what these kids will do about cheating in sports. They're here to audition for an ultimate challenge TV show for kids. At least that's what they think. Hi, my name is Brianna. 
Hi, I'm Natasha. Hi, my name is Anthony. We'll run them through a series of physical challenges. This way, follow me. Led by a personal trainer who will emphasize that they need to do well or they're out. If you cannot do better than 30 seconds, you're probably not gonna make it. What they don't know is we've rigged the gym with hidden cameras and planted an actress in the group to cheat. Hi, my name is Lauren. Despite what we've heard about how common cheating is, this dad is confident his son Anthony would never do it. He's a good student, he's very athletic, he's very competitive. Does he play by the rules? 100%, he plays by the rules, and I think today he'll get upset if he finds someone cheating. Brianna's mom says her daughter has a strong moral compass. Although I think she does struggle with peer pressure a lot, like most children her age. In a peer pressure situation where perhaps others are goading her to cheat, how do you think she may respond? I don't see her cheating, because she has too much of a guilty conscience, I think. And Natasha's mom says her daughter is not likely to be pushed around. Don't think that she'll allow someone to make her lie or cheat. That's my gut instinct. So if I find out otherwise, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> you getting nervous? We'll be watching on monitors in a room not far away. What will these kids do when they think no one is looking? They're not watching. I'm putting 19. When we come back, the moment of truth for the kids. No! And the parents. Got the pressure. When my kid would never do that continues. Hidden cameras are rolling as these parents watch to see if their kids will be tempted to cheat. Go, what? The middle schoolers think they're competing for a spot on an ultimate challenge show for kids. Cheating researcher Eric Anderman says having something big at stake is what motivates some kids to bend the rules. It's really, you know, what's the carrot at the end of the stick? What's the incentive? If the incentive is big enough for them, then they will cheat. So something like being cast on a TV show, probably enough of a carrot there as an Absolutely. incentive. The kids don't know we've hired an actress to cheat for the group. Our coach explains the competition. Go! The whole group has to race through the obstacle course as fast as possible, then record their times on the board. The best score will be the lowest. I will take the best score out of those times and that's the score that I will give you. And there are two important rules. Don't knock over the hurdles. Or you knock over a hurdle, you need to start all over. And no hands to go faster on the scooters. And you do not use your hands. The coach puts our actress Lauren, the cheater, in charge of the clock, then leaves the group alone. I'm working on the honor system here because they need me with the other kids. Go. On the first run through, Go. Everyone follows the rules. When Natasha knocks over a hurdle, oh, how do I put that back up? Start over, start over. She fixes it and starts again. Go back, go back, go back. But the next time through the obstacle course, our actress encourages everyone to go faster by using their hands on the scooters. In other words, cheat. Use your hands a little bit, just like. Brianna objects. No. She's telling her to use her hands, and she's like, no, no. <laughs> the group finishes the obstacle course in 33 seconds, but our cheater wants to lie and write down a faster time. How we just put 29? Brianna speaks up again, trying to keep the group honest. No! Come on. It's like one second. I don't think that's... I'm going to be the party pooper. Got the pressure. Now our actor goes around to the other side of the board and finds some fake scores we've planted from a competing team. Guys, team A scores on the back. What? You gotta be kidding me. 20? We gotta step it up. Uh, we gotta step it up. This group thinks the other team did the course much faster. So our cheater goes ahead and lies about their time, writing down 29 instead of 33. But as his father predicted, Anthony won't no, let her do it. No, no, no. 33. In fact, he stops the cheating by erasing the false time 
and writing the correct one, 33 seconds. Oh no, the thing was 33. So far, so good. <laughs> Let's go. But the competition isn't over yet. Another run through the obstacle course, and Natasha again knocks over a hurdle, a clear no-no. This time, when our cheater tells her to ignore the rules and keep going, keep going, keep going. We forgot to reset it. Just, yeah, just keep going. Oh. To her mother's surprise, she does. She kept going. Oh no. <laughs> oh. How did you do? Okay. Our coach comes back to give them their next test. Try to do the highest number of jumping jacks in 10 seconds. Jumping jack. How many can you do in 10 seconds? Good luck. Once the coach is out of the room. Three, two, one. Go. Our actress, Lauren, will start boosting the numbers. 14, 15, 16. Natasha does 16. I'm going to put 19. They're not watching. I'm putting 19. Lauren writes down 19. And this time, no one says a word. Brianna, who tried to stop the cheating earlier, doesn't look happy. Brianna really seemed to be uh, frustrated, it looked like frustrated. to me. And just like that, the cheater has taken control. 15, 16, This 17, boy does 18, 20 jumping 19, jacks. 20. 20. 20, exactly. But our actress wants to write down more. There's no way we're making it. Anthony stood up to her moments earlier, but now? 21-ish. Anthony caves and shrugs as our cheater writes down a false number, 21. The others stay quiet too. Okay, you all, did you see what's happening right here? They're all like agreeing? Yeah, okay. they're just going with the flow. Yeah, putting numbers up that they know are not the right, right. ones. Something's going on with them because you're very quiet. How was it? When I go in, they think I'm the host of the fake ultimate challenge show. They tell me the scores are all correct. In fact, they say Lauren did a great job as scorekeeper. She was good with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got it right mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. Really? Let's see if they stick to that story when they hear this is not an audition. You're going to be on TV, but the show is Dateline NBC, and it's a special report on cheating. And we have cameras throughout the room. Your parents have been watching. <laughs> The faces. Did you guys actually do 21 jumping jacks? No, 19. 19? Yeah. Why did you guys go along with 21? Peer pressure. Yeah, peer pressure. Peer pressure. Yeah. I was trying to like go against her and say 19. Four out of five people said, no, let's go up. So I just. So you went with the math. Yeah, because we wanted to get on the show. Brianna tells me that while she clearly knew the cheating was wrong, speaking up just got too hard. I didn't really feel like I had to say in it because they're the ones that are kind of taking over. Like, it doesn't feel right, but it's, oh, it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me that she would say that. She talks about peer pressure a lot. I think she struggles with it. These things do it's happen. A, it's a story that Rosalind Wiseman, who works with teens on ethical issues, has heard before. It is complicated because she was trying. It wasn't working. It made her feel like, what is the point of, of speaking out when I'm just going to be overridden? There your parents. It's peer pressure. I don't know, I wouldn't yeah, be I, I think it's really important for parents to realize how powerful group dynamics are, not just for kids, but for all of us. Did you actually realize what was going on with the numbers and everything like that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No. So for these kids and parents, a lesson learned. So as a father now, what do you talk to him about when you're driving home today? <laughs> this was peer pressure. And he was with five other kids, and he just went along with the flow. And uh, he didn't put a stop to it. And that's something that we need to, to bring up and talk, because I have two other children. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We've got another group of parents ready to find out if their kids have what it takes to stand up to the cheater. And this time, we meet a mom who makes a surprising prediction. So you think she's yeah. going to join them yeah. in the cheating? Will her daughter prove her wrong? Coming up. You don't want to be on TV. I do, but. Miranda's big decision. Will she do the right thing? When Dateline continues.
We are in a middle school gym rigged with hidden cameras as a group of parents prepares to watch their kids struggle with an ethical dilemma. What will happen when they're given a chance to cheat? Hi, I'm Julia. Hi, my name is Xavier. My name is Miranda. Miranda's mother knows how powerful peer pressure can be. She says her daughter is the go along to get along type and suspects she just might join the cheaters. I think Miranda might even help them do it. So you think she's yeah. going to join them yeah. in the cheating? I, I love her to death, but um, she is so <laughs> kind. She's a people pleaser. Oh, and yeah. She wants, the she group wants to, to look make good. everybody happy. The parents of Xavier and Julia think the opposite, predicting their kids will stand up to the cheaters. I'm thinking she's not going to follow the crowd if they're doing something that's inappropriate or that she knows I wouldn't approve of. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> the kids race through the obstacle course as fast as they can. The first time through, they do it in 40 seconds. Stop that. I got 40. But later, the actress we planted to cheat wants to change the time to 34. Heck? Right away, Miranda speaks up, but not in the way her mom predicted. I think we should keep it. Why? Who wants to be on a TV show? Ooh. Yeah, I know. But I want to be truthful about it. That's huge to be able yeah. to, to speak out like that. I just keep going. They do the obstacle course again, this time in 29 seconds. And listen to what Miranda says when our cheater writes down 20 instead. You don't want to be on TV. I do, but like I said, I don't want to be a liar. And she's not finished yet. 18, 19. When Miranda does 19 jumping jacks. You know, why don't we just put 20? Because some kid did 20 on the other group. I'd rather keep it 19. It's not like something you can't do. I'd rather put 19. I'm just saying, who wants to be on the TV show? I will, but not like that. What do you mean not like that? They're not going to know. I will know, and I cannot live with the guilt. Good for Good her. For her right? mm -hmm. yeah. She's giving that girl a hard time. She's getting angry. All right, I get what you're saying, but I'm just going to put 20 and move on. No. Why not? Fine, because I'm going to put 19. Thank you. Rand's just ticked right now. She's got a look on her face. And when our coach comes Lisa, back and looks at the times they got on the obstacle course. 20, 20. nice. Miranda's okay. mom so is shocked by what happens. Yeah. It wasn't truthful. What do you mean? It wasn't 20. Oh my God. Miranda's showing you up here. She is. She very much so. No, I'm very proud of her. She definitely makes the right decisions when the time is right. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I'm proud of my girl. Then I tell them why they are really here. We're doing a show on cheating and your parents have been watching. So they're actually very proud of you because you guys did call Lauren out on yes. the cheating. Good job. Miranda, your mom? Hi. Okay, a little bit of an sweaty. apology. I don't care, I love you. Miranda didn't know her mother was watching today, but Rosalind Wiseman says that when talking to kids about ethics, it's a good idea to tell them to simply imagine being watched all the time. I would think about who is the person that we respect the most in our life. And just as we're about to do something that we're thinking, is it ethical? Is it not? I don't know that you have that person in your head basically acting like that camera and thinking, if this person saw me right now doing that, how would that feel? I did not think you would act, react that way. I really thought that. <laughs> Miranda's mother leaves corrected and proud. And while her daughter did the right thing today, Rosalind yeah. says there is more that parents should be talking about with their kids. She says in the real world, standing up for what's right is not always popular. What are you going to say to people who might, you know, get angry at you because you've come forward and done the right thing? You know, you can't guarantee that people are going to thank you for it. <laughs> There's no doubt that standing up to cheaters is hard, but it may be even tougher in our next test. We're leaving the gym to take a test in the library. And students tell us that most kids think cheating in school is no big deal. People go crazy if people cheat on sports, but in school I don't think people really care as much. No one cares if people cheat in school. Cheating researcher Eric Anderman. Is there a difference between the cheating in sports and cheating in academics? There's a difference in terms of what is tolerated. You're a bad sport if you cheat in sports, whereas in a classroom, for some kids, it actually makes them cool to be seen as cheating on academic kinds of things. We've hired two new actors to play the cheaters. What will happen when they do this? You think it's C? Oh, I, I, I put D. Did you put D? Yes. Oh my gosh. When we come back, everybody's doing it, or at least it seems that way.
Artie Schuster. It's Artie Abrams. All right, thank you. And after the test, the lessons yeah. begin. So you are not in trouble, okay? So everyone take a deep breath. <laughs> when my kid would never do that continues. We've seen how some kids react to cheating in sports, even when it would benefit their own team. I will know, and I cannot live with the guilt. Now we're in a school library, and both experts and kids tell us cheating in school is the norm. So many students see it as so prevalent, so common, so prolific, that they don't see it as really a big, big transgression. These parents are hoping their kids would never cheat, but are they ready to find out? If you're not honest with yourself, you know, you, you dig yourself a hole. I know, I'm so excited. Sasha's mother says he's a happy-go-lucky, friendly kid. She says while they rarely discuss cheating, they talk about honesty all the time. You have to be very honest with not only yourself, but your friends and your families. So what are your predictions for what might happen today? I hope he does the right thing. Did you see that Katy Perry dyed her hair blonde? Emma's mother says her daughter is a conscientious student. She remembers what happened back in elementary school when a classmate tried to copy Emma's work. Did she tell the cheaters at that time? She did. And she so told she the teacher? Up. She did. But will she speak up today? How do you think she'll react when the cheating starts happening around her? I think she'll be very stressed. I think she'll be really nervous. Please. Yeah. And while Gianna's mom thinks her daughter will resist the temptation to cheat, she admits she's not sure. Kids act differently when they're not with their moms, don't they? <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming today. Sasha, Gianna, and Emma think they're here to be tested on pop culture. A dry run, our producer tells them, for a game show NBC is developing. We need your help in trying to develop this new show. The questions will be about TV shows and music, lighthearted stuff. But it's the competition that experts say motivates some kids to cheat. The parents are watching as we give these kids their first task, an individual quiz. We want to get a sense of how much you know by yourself. Any student knows that means no talking. Hidden cameras are rolling and our producer leaves. It's pin drop silent until the two actors we've hired to cheat break the rules. Hey, Miles. Number six. I think it's C. Do you think it's C? I, I, I put D. Did you put D? As her mother predicted, Emma looks nervous. I just saw your daughter look at the door. She did. Is somebody watching? But Sasha, the social butterfly, joins the conversation with the cheaters. You guys watch Glee, right? Yeah. Which one is eight? Uh, I think Artie Schuster. Artie Schuster? It's Artie Abrams. All right, thank you. Emma, the serious student, tries to tell the group to stop talking. I don't think we're, we're supposed to it. ask each other answers. But they keep chatting. Yeah, but she married a basketball player, like so you might be right. So hold on, I kind of want to change that now. Okay, so then change it to B. And watch what Sasha does now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Sasha changed his answer. But they were all talking to him too, and comparing, so it's See, not like then. he was the only one. So how did you feel seeing Sasha? Uh, I don't like Sasha. that. Time for their next assignment, a group test. So, so you have to collectively decision. decide what you think the answer is. Okay. We put our actress in charge of writing down the answers they'll come up with together. <gasps> Cara Yes. <laughs> that is yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And now that they're no longer okay. cheating, Emma seems to relax. Okay. Prince William got married earlier this year. What is the name of his new wife and Kate Middleton. sister? Kate Middleton. Pippa yeah, Middleton. Uh, Pippa Middleton. Yeah. Whoa. He watched the royal wedding. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. See, they're getting along so well that they the are. next challenge that they get is going to be tough for okay. anybody. It's going to be hard for them to confront. Oh, wait. No. Holly Holiday. We rigged the group okay. test with a second okay. cheating sure. temptation. An answer sheet is stapled to the back of the quiz. When our actress finds it, it will look like our mistake. 
So as the questions get harder. For each of these young stars, give the names of their famous siblings. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our actress pretends to discover the cheat sheet we planted. Oh, I think these are the answers. It has what? Kate and Pippa. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll just like rip this out and like put it in my pocket. And instead of protesting, Sasha appears to be celebrating the group's good fortune. Oh, no, these are the no. judges. No, he excitedly no. reads off the cheat sheet. Name four judges on NBC The Voice, so. Um, Adam, Levine, CeeLo, <laughs> Green. But he's like celebrating that there are answers to the questions. I'm very uncomfortable about it, but he'll learn from this experiment, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm like shouting. As the group copies down answers, Emma starts to look uneasy again, especially when they discuss what might happen later when their quiz gets checked. We're gonna be like, oh, they're really smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get on. It makes me feel sad that I that she doesn't feel comfortable enough to say, hey, they said don't do that. Hey, how are you guys? Now I head yeah. into the library to ask them about the test. Did you have fun doing this? Yeah. yeah. I let them squirm a little. You guys really seem to know your pop culture. Very good. Then tell them what our show is really about. This is actually a show on NBC, but it's a show on cheating. We have hidden cameras all around the room, and your parents have been watching. I was going to say, oh my gosh. Emma admits right away that as one of the younger kids in the library, she felt helpless. Well, I didn't think we should cheat. But since they're 16, I was kind of like embarrassed to say anything, so. Ethics teacher Rosalind Weissman comes in, in to say what they did is typical for kids their age. So you are not in trouble, okay? So everyone take a deep breath. <laughs> she says that with so many kids in schools cheating, it can start to seem normal, even necessary, even though it's wrong. I should have said something, but I was kind of, I didn't really want to say something. Is honesty important to your parents? Like super important? Mm -hmm. Right? And then you get into these situations and it's a lot trickier. Right? Mm -hmm. I know that parents like to talk about it's important that you're honest. Don't lie. But we don't give them a context sometimes for what that's going to look like. And so cheating is a specific way of being dishonest. So I would be very specific with your kids about what honesty looks like to you. Hello. She says tell kids point blank, cheating Hello. equals lying. Hello. So in this case, it's a learning experience for both mother and son. You, you've got a voice, use it. Find a way to make a wrong into a right and not participate. Don't get, you know, it's easy to get sucked into a bad situation. Yeah. But this situation came up again. Are you gonna remember what happened here? I would probably tell them to stop. Probably. No, I will tell them to okay. stop. Good lesson learned. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Wanna go get ice cream? <laughs> but there's another group of kids waiting in the wings. And this time, the cheating escalates to a whole new level. Should I just search the answers? Coming up. You've cheated so much. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, but it is. This is an NBC Dateline show that we're doing about cheating, and your parents have been watching you guys. <laughs> How do you guys feel? <laughs> Busted. When Dateline continues. Tell the Cullen family from the Kardashians? These teenagers think they can. My favorite TV show is America's Got Talent. My favorite show is Criminal Minds. My favorite show is Ant Farm. They're here to try out for a new pop culture quiz show for kids. But that's just a ruse. Their parents have brought them to this school library for a demonstration about cheating. And they're about to be confronted with a dilemma that their moms and dads never had to think about back when they were in high school. People use the internet on their phones all the time. They pull it out during class. Just a click of a button, you can get the answer that you want. Technology is really sort of the new frontier when it comes to cheating. Yes. Kids are using technology so often in such integrated ways to get information about everything. But when you are specifically told, do not use them, and you'd use them anyway, 
then you are cheating. So before the quiz, we make sure to give them this important instruction. You can't have any cell phones to look up answers. Kyle is an honor roll student who's just been promised his first cell phone as a reward for good grades. Have you talked to him about cheating and the consequences of cheating? Yes, we do. We always say if you see a friend of yours doing something that you feel is not right, you need to say to him, this isn't right, I'm walking away from you. I, I, I'm not doing what you're doing. Jasmine's mother says she's been trying to teach her daughter to stand her ground with other kids, but she's not sure what will happen today. And what if she goes along with the cheating and if she participates in the cheating, how will you feel about that? I'm not gonna be angry. That just goes to show me that there's more we gotta work on, more we have to talk about. Jasmine and Kyle are in the library with 12-year-old Abby and the actors we've hired to cheat. Our producer tells the group that the higher they score, the more likely they'll get a shot at being on the show. We'll ask the groups that we think do well to come back and audition for it. We leave them alone, hidden cameras rolling. Miles, right? Yeah. And our cheaters quickly break the first rule. No talking during the individual test. If we put higher numbers, does that like increase our chances? Probably, yeah. And once the cheaters are talking, Oh, wait, you said Justin Bieber? All the kids start sharing answers. Jaden Smith and Ludacris. Yeah, Jaden oh, Smith. So it's me. Yeah. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> Emma Watson and Emma Roberts, I don't know the difference. It's a quiz about pop stars, not AP history. But still, it's clear these kids know what they're doing is cheating. Listen to what Kyle says. I don't think we're supposed to be talking. <laughs> they don't hear it. No one's here. Yeah. <laughs> and yet, all of them, including Kyle, keep going. Does anybody know who Bella Thorne is? She's new. I don't think we're supposed to be talking, but then he's still asking the question. Mm. Wait, no, hold on. No, is iCarly. Oh now they're all comparing their answers. Mm. Mine's asking all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Next, a group project, sharing aloud. What position does Derek Jeter play for the New York Yankees? Uh, shortstop. Oh. <laughs> the kids work together as the questions get tougher. Name the parents of the Cullen family in the Twilight series of books and movies. There. Put a question mark. Name all the Kardashians in order from oldest oh to youngest. Oh, I don't know. I Not know. There's order. Kim. Kim. Chloe, I think, is the oldest. No, yeah, Chloe. Chloe's the mom, though. When they get stuck, the actors propose a oh, new way to okay. cheat. Does anybody have their phone? I don't even I have a have phone. Mine. I still have mine. Should I just search the answers? No. Just Google I, it? No. And while Kyle and the real kids have voiced some reservations, the actors take out the phone anyway. What if she walks in? He'll watch the door. They look uneasy, but no one tells them to stop. In order, it's Chris, Courtney, Kim, Chloe, Kendall, and Kylie. That's a good thing we Googled it. it I think because everybody's having a good time talking, she's kind of just younger. going with it. She's going with the flow. I'm surprised he hasn't spoken up more. I'm a little disappointed, actually. What, what the name you? of the parents of the Cullen family. Come on, Kyle, say something. Well, what would you like him to have done? I would have liked him to say, put the phone away. I don't want to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think in a similar situation you would do that? <laughs> Now? Yes. <laughs> We've cheated so much. It's not that big of a deal. If they don't find out, it's not a big deal. When the quiz is over, these like kids reveal that something that makes their parents mm -hmm. happier. The conversation turns to smoking and drugs. I don't get why people would do drugs. I mean, it's just neither do I. Like, why would you do it? No, that's good. See, we teach good. <laughs> we got a little good out of it. Hi, guys. How are you? But back to the quiz, how do you think they'll explain some of those answers we know they looked up online? The Kardashians, I'm impressed. We watch, we watch like the Kardashians take New York and stuff like Oh, okay. That. So you knew all the Kardashians? I knew a lot of them, yeah. Really? I wonder if they watch Dateline. This is an NBC Dateline show that we're doing about cheating and your parents have been watching you guys. <laughs> How do you guys feel? <laughs> Busted. All of them say it was the heat of the moment that made them act like they normally wouldn't. My stomach yeah. kind of yeah. was like turning. It was yeah. like uh, it was taking out the phone and finding the papers, just something I don't like to do. So what should a teenager do when other kids cheat? Hi. Rosalind Hi, Weissman you comes in with some advice. It's not like you know, you're know you gonna see somebody cheating and say, 
Oh my gosh, Miles, you are cheating. That is so bad, that is against the school rules. Don't you know that? You have to stop that right now. Then you sound like some kind of after school special that's weird, right? <laughs> Much better, she says, be short, but firm. You don't have to be all like long winded sentences about it, but like seriously, dude, stop, right? In your own words. Let's say Miles is looking up the answer. We asked Kyle to role play with our actor and give it a try. You're like, oh, so annoying, he's not listening. Stop. <laughs> do you think you could do that? Yeah, like mm -hmm. one of my friends, I would definitely do that. What'd you think? Kyle is relieved when his mother tells him he still gets to buy that cell phone he's been promised. Did you learn anything from this? Yeah. But Jasmine is nervous. What will she say when she faces her mom? I lied for like everyone. We all lie for each other, so mm -hmm. I feel guilty about that. Coming up, one final test. His name means to be truthful and honest, upright and righteous. But can Unctre live up to that name? I'm gonna get you, Dad. I'm gonna get you. And coming up Friday on Dateline, while they were sleeping, their wedding was perfect. It's what you wait for all your life. You feel like a princess. Their marriage, too. They completed each other. Till it ended with a gunshot in the master bedroom. I could see him. Hard to get that one out of your head, isn't it? Yeah. Who would want him dead? And why did she escape without a scratch? Was this princess bride now a prime suspect? The person that you love is dead, and then you're being looked at for it. Then came the twist. What if she walks in? We've watched this group of teens blatantly cheat on a test, looking up answers on a cell phone. This is a Dateline show that we're doing about cheating, and they just found out that their parents saw it all go down on hidden cameras. The whole time my stomach was just turning, my heart's beating. <laughs> mm -hmm. Heart's beating now, still. Jasmine says she's disappointed in herself and feels she's let her mother down. Hi. Hi. We reunite them in the library. I feel guilty. Why do you feel guilty? Because um, I lied for like everyone. We all lie for each other, so mm -hmm. I feel guilty about that. How does it make you feel? She's going to make me cry because she's crying. So. But this mom knows her daughter's heart is in the right place. Um, the rest just so, takes um, practice. First of all, you're here because um, I want you to realize how important it is for you to be strong, to be a strong person and really stand up for yourself. And it's hard. Not everybody does it. There's adults that don't do it. And I know it's hard because I've been there. I mean, you really, you know what you stand for. Yeah. They said, I don't really know why I cheated. You know, I was raised better than that. You know, I know that that's wrong, but I did it anyway. That's an amazingly important experience for a kid to have and then be able to talk about it with their, with their mom or their dad. We put these kids through some pretty tough situations. If the tables were turned, how do you think the grown-ups would react? I think that they would do the same thing. It's easy to look at kids and say, oh, that's kids doing this. This is something that we often can get caught up in easily. So what can be done to reduce cheating in schools and make it easier for honest kids to stand their ground? Cheating researcher and education professor Eric Anderman says there is a proven solution. How can we reduce cheating? I know this is a tall order, but in de-emphasizing the absolute total importance of the grade. I mean, that really is the bottom line. Motivation to get grades is one of the strongest predictors of whether or not kids cheat or not. Research shows that when schools and parents talk more about knowledge than grades, cheating goes down. In other words, you got to see, you didn't learn all the material, you're going to have to go back and learn the material and retake the test and get an A. The goal here is not for me to say you're a C student. The goal here is for you to learn this stuff. If you are focused on grades, grades, grades with your kid, they're going to hear you. Then you are contributing to a situation where they will more likely cheat. And that is something that's a hard thing for parents to hear, but you really, parents have to hear it. So with our next group of students, we put that idea to the test. 
This time when our producer gives instructions, we make the audition less competitive, no longer stressing the importance of just getting the answers right. And all we need to know from you is what you know, okay? You can get them wrong, it's okay, that also helps us. Our school gives us laptops. So Will it make a difference? At the table are twin sisters, Christina and Patience, and Cassie, an honor student, who's told her mom she doesn't like it when other kids try to copy her work. She felt very bad that she felt somebody was cheating off of her, that that was doing them a disservice because they're not learning by that. And 11-year-old Unc Trey, Trey for short. Actually, his name means to be truthful and honest, upright and righteous. Can Trey live up to that big name? He's the youngest kid we're testing today. So I'll give you a few minutes to do it, okay? Once again, the actors start cheating during the individual test. It's Emily Watson. Yeah, yeah. And the twins go along, helping each other out. That's right. Yep. There's that answer. It's that fraternal bond. <laughs> they should have split those twins up. What is the name of Justin Bieber's new perfume? Well, okay. Nope. What? But here comes the real test. Now as they're all working together on the group project, the cheaters pull out the cell phone to look up an answer. Hold on. Let's just use a lifeline. No, don't. Both Cassie and Trey are adamant. Don't, don't do it. No, no it's fine. Do it. You don't have to. No, I think please don't. Please I think don't. Please don't. Please don't. It's, please don't. Don't. it's okay. It's the boldest pushback we've seen in the library yeah, yeah. yet. Not okay, paradise. please put away your phone. Please put away your phone. No, you could like just watch the door and make sure. No, please stop. No. <laughs> Can I have a cell phone? No. We're just gonna shut it off. No. Please put away your phone. You have to get on the show, don't you? Yeah, but I don't wanna get on the show cheating. Good, good for them. Doing what I taught them to do. Put away your phone. Okay, I put my phone away. Everybody happy? You got a tattoo? And when they find the cheat sheet we planted, answers we've stapled to the back of the quiz, Cassie actually tries to take it from the cheater. Give it to me. Come on, stop. Go on. Remember, with this group, we de-emphasize the importance of getting all the answers right. And it seems to have made a difference. Cassie appears so confident the cheating is unnecessary, that when our producer comes back in, she doesn't hesitate to tell the truth about what's going on. The answers for the last five questions were on the back of it, so we just wanted to let you know. Cassie, what she did there to tell the adult, that's I something that's that you did not predict. I didn't expect it. I really didn't expect it. You're here because we are doing a Dateline episode about cheating. And your parents have been watching. I'm gonna get you, Dad. I'm gonna get you. You all did a great, great job. What happened there doesn't surprise me a bit. When the emphasis is on knowledge, kids are not likely to cheat because it doesn't buy you anything. It doesn't get you anything. Of course, grades will still be a part of school, but experts say parents need to strike the right balance at home. Raising kids who would never cheat is an enormous challenge. Whether it's teaching them to stand up for what's right or to bounce back when they don't. Good job. Our children are going to do things that we are not proud of. What I think is important is that parents realize that parenting is a process. This is a journey, a long journey. Natalie, the advice sounds solid. I mean, focus on learning, not getting good grades. But you and I both know kids are under a lot of pressure right now. They need to get good test scores, good grades to get into a, a good college. So what's a parent to do? Well, you have to start off when they're really young, really early on, when they're preschool age, before grades even come into the picture, put the emphasis on learning and knowledge. Make it fun, make learning its own reward. And as they get older, hard as it might be, try not to get hung up on those numbers. Your kids are under enough pressure from teachers and peers to get good grades. So really, Lester, it is really focusing on the effort, the learning, and not those numbers. These have been enlightening stories. You've got another installment of My Kid Would Never Do That coming up. What is it? Well, Lester, this is a really important topic, certainly one that we've been hearing and talking about a lot. What would your kid do or how would they handle a difficult situation involving discrimination? I was bullied for my race. I hear jokes about Hispanics, you know, um, being immigrants. And they'd be like, oh, so you're a terrorist? A sensitive subject. Would your kid ever discriminate? I think Elijah just doesn't look smart. Doesn't Whoa! Look. Courageous parents let their kids join in a special demonstration to find out. Oh, wow. A quiz show. Yes. 
nitrogen. And a singing contest. That we will always be. Would teens speak out against this kind of peer pressure? She's a terrorist. Or this. You are. He could be like illegal. Probably, yeah. yeah. Probably you know? across the border. Come that, here, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like you know. Hard and important lessons learned for parents. Um, shut up. And kids. It's okay. I'm really, really, really sorry. It's okay. I'm really not like that. You stood up there, buddy. It's a tough subject. We'll look forward to it. Natalie, thanks very much. Again, that's next Sunday at 7, 6 Central here on Dateline. That's all for this edition of Dateline Sunday. We'll be back again for Dateline Friday at 10, 9 Central. And start your day tomorrow on Today. I'm Lester Holt. For Natalie and all of us at NBC News, good night.